everybody. Do you play Pokemon? Do you play Pokemon Go? We play Pokemon Go. It's a problem. Yes, like, it is. I, a la- severe problem. During the last video we recorded, I may have, like, snuck and caught an Eevee. Um, you did. I did. I, you I were did. trying to be sly about it, but I was just like... Yeah, no, they could both see me because my phone is sitting oh, right I was, here. I was watching them do it. I was going to wait, and then they both did it. So, and I was just like, nope, we're doing this. It's and right there. Lost, and then the Eevee ran away. Went to catch mine and ran away first time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pokemon Go has taken over. It has. Uh, this is the closest we've ever gotten to world peace. Thank and God. And it's amazing. Thank God. Uh, so we thought in honor of uh, Pokemon Go, which might be the greatest game ever made, uh, we're gonna there. we're going to look at some games that aren't quite so good uh john tron has a video on bootleg pokemon games and uh this is gonna hurt uh it's very, it's very I've, severely i've played uh, some games that were similar in premise to pokemon that yep. were awesome like dragon warrior monsters oh one, man one and two i forgot that you would also play those they're so good aren't they wataboo <laughs> is my jam man honestly waraboo is also my jam he's pretty cool man those games are so good. Damn. Yep. And I Super w- good. They remade them for the 3DS, and they didn't release them here. Mm. I am so angry. Excuse us, everyone. We're going to Japan. Uh, yep, we're going to go fight some dudes. Yeah, we're going to go fight some dudes. Um, but, yeah, let's just let's get in there. Okay. Because this is gonna this is going to be bad, and we should get it over with. Get all let's up go. Oh, boy. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Some, uh, normal some boots. pretty normal boots right there. Yeah. Uh, That's such a good intro. Jumptron. Hey, Jacques. Hey, Jacques. <laughs> you, want some, you want some blue like Pokemon games? You want some Pokemans? <laughs> you want some, uh... Pokemon, a series dearly beloved by many. Few games can claim to harness its gravitational pull. Uh, this yo. golden goose has sold millions upon millions of copies, spawned countless varieties of merchandise, and touched multiple generations of kids and adults alike. Mm-hmm. How many franchises do you know that bridge the generational gap? Thanks, I know yo. what you're probably thinking to yourself. Why are you telling me this? I've played them all. I've been to them all. I've been to Kanto, Johto, Ancho, Habanero, Poblano, Antonio Banderas. I swung them all, sister. Swung with the best. <laughs> but you ain't never seen the likes of this. That's right. I'm with sorry, every big what? fish, there's a leech on the belly. Huh? Today, we're going to have a look at the fascinating world of bootlegged Pokemon games. Now, now, these aren't games you can find in stores. They're games that made their way into circulation one way or another. None of them are licensed or acknowledged by Nintendo, and they're pretty damn hard to find. First off, let's look at what's known as Pocket Monster. It's inferred that it was released in the year 2000 by DVS Electronics, because on the box art there are two small icons reading New Game and 2000. Huh? All right. empirical science, but what can I tell you? I'm a simple man. <laughs> it's strange. The label on my game says Pokemon Pikachu Edition, which first off isn't even the name of the game at hand, but if you peel back the label, there's another label that says Pikachu and it's spelled wrong? What is this what? game? Who made Pikachu? it? Why? Look at his Pikachu. Seriously, is it any wonder why he's so popular? Even when he's half-assed and bootlegged, he still melts my heart. I can feel the money loosening from my wallet already. Yeah. He's it's like, like a, he's all like, fuck you. It's <laughs> like a little glorious black I'm, market Pikachu. What? I'm sorry, what is this? What the? Is it a, it's a platformer? <laughs> I, just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started. Come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. <laughs> well, there's a shocker for you. My Five man. seconds into the game, and it's already like. <laughs> Look at his arms flailing. Even he's confused and terrified. Hey, I'm not blaming him. I would be too. Listen to this music. This is not level one music. No, it's not. Yeah, what the crap is happening? That's like, that's like, that's like Talk crappy about putting mid the boss. player on edge right away. That's this a game is extremely hard to play. When Pikachu jumps, the entire game lags every single time. Oh, but wow. then when you just want to go forward, he speeds up like a power yeah, walker yeah, with yeah, a New yeah, York yeah, minute yeah, to yeah, spare. Yeah. So it's like you're constantly in a battle between game speeds. Makes the platforming real difficult right off the bat. Also, can we take a minute to talk about the fact that Pikachu has the face of a, a balding middle-aged man? <laughs> Early Howard, is that you? <laughs> Did you come back? 
Did you come back from the ground, Mausoleum? Even more ridiculous than all that is this walk cycle. I mean, look at that thing! Coupled with the music, it's like a vaudeville act in here. Maybe it really is curly because, I mean, they started as a vaudeville act back in 1925. <laughs> but that's not that funny, though, because uh, they're all dead. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be funny. It's so bizarre seeing a Pokemon game actually playing on my SNES. Ah, this game's like a breath of fresh air because it showcases all the Pokemon that we've come to know and love over the years. You can see Beedrill, yep. Porygon, Oregon. Monkey, Mario Dinosaur, Poop. Abomination. What is this? Yeah, is this weird. what happens it when illicit actually Pokemon looks like breeding a goes unchecked? I'm looking Gen at this 5. from every goddamn angle there is. I can't tell where it starts and where it ends. Well, it's got a pine cone for a body. It's uh, wearing a fez. It's <laughs> got that one staring, unblinking eye that reminds you that this creature lives in never-ending, ceaseless agony. Oh, by the way, this game's pure bullshit. Whoa. You can never see what's below what? you, so you always have to take leaps of faith that more often than not lead to your untimely demise. What? And it doesn't even matter how far you get. There's no checkpoint. So if you die, it's straight back to the beginning. Oh, no. When you drop back into the game after a death, that's you. That's an accurate representation of you saying, No, don't put me back in, please! Good. That the new screen looks like a PSA for abused Pokemon. <laughs> to me, it's as if he's laying there. I kind of want to know light, what the Pokeball like, rolls up to him and Ash says, Keep going, Pikachu. Or it's back in the ball for you. <laughs> mm, no, I don't want it. Gotcha. I... Oh, shit. So I finally beat the first level. That's the boss a Snorlax. Of Snorlax. It's pretty energetic for a Snorlax, wouldn't you say? So at the beginning of level two, you just see Ash say, it's hot? What? Oh, uh, what? Oh, he's coming. Any minute now. Oh, there he is. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, by it's hot, he meant literally, it's a, it's a, it's a fire level. Thanks for looking out for me, Ash. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Jesus. What the crap? Oh, oh, is this what is that? Is that Branson? Is that a, is that tap dancing crab demon? Is that nightmare? Is supposed that to true be. nightmare? Strangely enough, there's another SNES Pokemon game. Huh. It's a port Arcade mode? Pokemon Stadium for the N64. Arcade it looks like. The biggest difference being that there's a Dogas predetermined roster of 12 Pokemon. Guy. What hmm, the Don't those names just look strikingly familiar? Who well, could forget Spear and Daggett? Um, Daggett? Rafe. It is a fully fledged game, yeah, but no, there's not much to say about it. I'm just baffled that it exists at all. Japanese name for Next coughing. up is Pokemon Adventure on the Game Boy Color. Oh man, this one looks great. It looks like a game Nintendo actually could have made. Let's yeah. do this. I'm ready to go on this balloon-based adventure like with Pikachu. Intro. What, what the? I'm sorry, freak? what? What? What's happening? Uh, nope. Got it. Fuck! Can I just have a break? Can I just have one break? I'm not playing this up, okay? Uh, These were my uh, actual first moments with the game. Complete confusion. You know, this game sets up a certain special scenario for you. It says, welcome to the game. That's the one thing you can see. Fuck you. This it is clearly like a, a platformer. Why is the first enemy unkillable? Is this just a way to condition me for the journey? It's Sonic. Sonic! Something you might notice is that Pikachu jumps like Sonic. He's even got those super fast spinny feet when he runs, like in Sonic 2. Oh, yeah. hey, and he even charges up in a, in a, in a <laughs> ball. In, like... Sonic the Hedgehog. Yep, that's Sonic. That's Sonic. It's so it's Sonic! It turns out that this is actually a hack of an existing hack for the Game Boy Color called Sonic Adventure 7. What happened to th what happened to 3 through 6? Do you even yep. realize what this means? Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing what could be the world's very first double hack. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Warning, John. You are in danger of reaching hack capacity. Next one up's a bit weird. It's called Moemon. Oh, uh, no. This one's weird. I don't know what to say about it. It's Pokemon with little girls. I mean, it's very obvious that a lot of uh, care and passion went into making this. I mean, you can actually tell which Pokemon is which by looking at those beautifully crafted sprites. But... Why? Do you realize that for this to happen, someone had to sit down, look at Pokemon, and say, you know, this is great, but it, just, it needs more little girls. I'm gonna go downstairs to my basement now, yep. next to my little girl dungeon. There you go. Like this game. By Welcome to Planet Earth, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. The next two oh, games Lord. I want to talk about are Pokemon Diamond and Jade. Huh, I guess someone beat Nintendo to the punch with Diamond there. But, oh, yeah. this is not the Diamond Honestly, version you're thinking of. Thing because better that than some would the be a time machine. <laughs> And I know you don't have any of those laying around. 
In this particular instance, we know Diamond is better than Jade because Jade has a a, a goat demon on the no, bottom. No, that's, that's this, the deer the god from Princess so Mononoke. Yep. Those eyes. Yes, it is. Bit of, a bit of a chill. So I think I'm starting to maybe feel ghosts or something. Uh, I just want to point out that at the beginning of this Pokemon game, there's a um, armadillo on a cell phone. I mean, presumably just trying to get reception in this forest, because let's face it, there's not much reception out there. <laughs> Hold on a second. Talk about rocking out with your cock out. I bet you $50. That's the guy who made Moemon back there. That's God. Mr. Moemon. Oh, this Lord. game is taking something completely fantastical, the world of fantasy monsters, and bringing it down to the most mundane what? level. He's like, did you remember to pick up the baking soda? So this game has some weird fascination with cell phones. Yeah, it totally gets me in the Pokemon spirit. Oh, it's decide time. It's time to make substantial Wait. decisions about my cell life phones. and career. Pokemon. Oh, wait, never mind. Literally first. just wants me to tell the yep. time. I bet at this point you're all saying to yourselves, John, what is this shit? Get it out of my face. This doesn't Nothing look out, anything yeah. like a Pokemon game. Well, check. if that's what you were thinking, you'd be right. It is in fact a Japanese cell phone themed RPG called Keitai Denju Telefang. Okay, now get this. It means mobile phone beast. Telefang. God damn it, that was the word I wanted to know most. <laughs> what in God's name is a telefang? Listen, Japan, I know this was the early 2000s, but I just can't see a series about monsters talking oh, well, on telephones well, well. ever Ouch. catching what? on. Damn it, <laughs> he's nothing. Yeah, you can say that again. Now, the next one's actually one of my favorite ones. It's called Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Yeah, that's actually what it's called. That's racist. Now you listen here, Pip Pip. A racist mind is a racist kind. Now you, you you take that to sleep with you tonight, because I know it's not. I'm not going to change hearts and minds in a day. You don't give a man a peanut, expect him to have a farm the next day. But it's all right. What? It's all right. What? One day we will all be equal on this earth. Until then, I'm going to give you a kiss, muffin. This game is exactly as advertised. It's Pokemon Crystal for Game Boy Color, but him. translated to <laughs> Vietnamese be. and sold on the street as a bootleg. Oh, but that is not what sets this game apart Boy, from the rest. Grr, what makes this one grr. so special is the bizarre translation. Welcome, it's Elf's World? Yes. Elf's Yo, World? Here we go. Oh man, this game's bringing the nostalgia the right world. back. How could I forget the first time I ever met Professor Oak? Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. How could I have been so rude? I meant to call him by his preferred name. Elf monster. He literally demands that not just me, but what? everyone call, <laughs> call him me elf. elf monster. I, I couldn't make this shit up. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I'm sad that I lack the talent to make this shit up. <laughs> Elves here are called monster. Well, that's good to know. He looks happy enough about it. Oh. They existed everywhere. Oh, that's existed. terrible. What happened to them? They play friendly, help each other. <laughs> there are many secrets inside to know these riddles. Well, <laughs> Philosophy-wise, he's up there with the greats. Aristotle, Plato, Confucius, meth head down my street that forgot how to speak English from too much meth. <laughs> Please check the time. <laughs> yup. Well, it was about a quarter past one. Why'd you want me to do that? How many minutes? Uh, I don't know, there's about 60 of them in an hour. <laughs> are we talking days? Weeks? Years? Oh, okay, looks like I gotta set the time. What F? Three hen time. Well, that's a fantastic question. I don't know myself. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I mean, you don't gotta yell. Him? I didn't know it meant so much to you. F three H seventeen. Mm, bad. Sleep too late. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quit here. This game's starting to judge my lifestyle. I, just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that. I made it past age eighteen. I pay my bills. I pay my taxes. I'm gonna sleep late if I fucking want to. Fuck you. Let's get back to the real games here. Pokemon four and oh, one on the NES. What? That's just so weird to me. A Pokemon game on a console ten what? years older than the original game. Who thought this was a good idea? Essentially, what we've got here is just a collection of mini games based around Pokemon. Three of which apparently revolve around Pika, the eating disorder which causes people oh, to ingest no. inedible objects. Objects. And speaking of food, Pikachu himself looks like a, a fucking potato. Pika click, Pika slot, Pika dance, and Pac-Man. Pac-Man? That one is just called fucking Pac-Man. Okay, hold on. No, that is the only game that had a P in it to begin with. They could have just as easily called it Pika Man, as all the others are themed with Pika, but no, they yep. just left it Pac Man. All right, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they didn't want the subtlety of their uh, blatant theft to be lost on the masses. Pika Click is just a game where you match blocks. I don't know what's going on with this one. I don't even know if you can lose. Okay, click, 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 fuck it. I don't give a shit. Pika Slot is stupid too. It's just a slot machine. Literally, it's just luck. Press the button and watch it go. The only yep. feedback you get from this game is the win box on the right. Who would, who would, play, who would 
play this? Who it's is the game corner Pac-Man. all over again? Oh, now this one's good. This one has some depth to it. Probably because it's Pac-Man. Literally, it's Pac-Man, and it changed the course of the gaming market when it came out because it's f- fucking Pac-Man. Fake it is great. Oh, look at him go. Set to the song Butterfly by Smile DK. Where are these Pokemon going to? I think I want to head up there with them. Oh, not to mention, every single high score on this game is DDR, 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 didn't yep. bother to hide it, DDR, didn't bother to hide it, Pac-Man, DDR, lose, 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 lose! Well, my work's done here. I'm gonna go get a goddamn glass of bootleg milk on my <laughs> goddamn nose, George Geppetto in the goddamn Pinocchio musical. Oh, oh no. The OG Pallet Town theme. Oh, jeez. Wait a second, isn't this that version of Pokemon where the... Pokemon actually die instead of faint, and I had that version of Lavender Town that caused all those Japanese kids to get mysteriously ill. Oh, uh, I should get rid of this. Yeah, we're doing this. Well, maybe I'll just have one play. No, John. John. Super Game Boy. This is a mistake. <laughs> well, he's dead. That theme from Pallet Town scared me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Horrifying. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Jock. Jock, buddy. Boobs. Uh, <laughs> what? Thanks for watching. If you want to stay uh, with all the John Tron going uh, on, don't forget to subscribe John. to the YouTube channel, like Boobs. me on Facebook, and uh, follow me on Twitter. And if you want to see something else cool, just click this annotation here. It'll take you to an episode of Digino Gaming I voiced on Pokemon Science. <laughs> it was mysterious. <laughs> like the Carl Sagan of Pokemon. <laughs> Carl Sagan. <laughs> you wish John was Jafari. Yeah, all right. Well, that was that was the thing that... That got super weird. I didn't know about the version where they would like... Was he serious when they're talking about like the Pokemon die instead of faint? That was... I've heard about that version. So... That's essentially what a, a Nuzlocke run becomes. So the idea is somebody made a comic mm-hmm. um, uh, in which they had a they were playing through uh, Ruby and Sapphire. And one of the Pokemon that they had was a Nuzleaf. And they had it sort of speak and like had the face of John Locke. So Nuzlocke. Huh. But basically, uh, if your Pokemon faints, it's gone forever. Hmm. Which is... A very challenging thing, and no, I can't do it because I get too attached. Um, yeah. But there is actually a theory that in the original uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, so uh, Gary Oak, or uh, Blue, mm-hmm. rather, has a um, eradicate for a while, mm-hmm. and then it gets transferred out of his team. You later meet him at the Pokemon Tower, and the theory is that his eradicate actually died hmm. and you killed it ouch hmm. yep oh um also uh the pallet town theme the or fact the, that they the had the, lavender town or lavender, lavender town. town yeah lavender town theme Ooh. uh that theme they actually changed it when they brought it over they to the did. united states uh they took some of the high pitched notes out of it mm-hmm. and you can notice it when you can notice it when you listen to the to them side by side the high pitch the high pitch sounds they say Drove some kids insane. That's that's what they say. Also, I'm trying to catch a Zubat. Oh, oh, oh. I already got mine. No, 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 well, no. it's it's not confirmed, but he's in the ball. Zubat's hard to hit. He really is. What, got is, him. what is your strength? Got him. 54. Two, three. Got it. All right. All okay. right. Uh, I'm catching mine. I'm catching mine. Look, we are professionals. One, two, three. Yes, got him. All right. All right. Cool. Uh. I want to be the very best like no one ever I, was. I've honestly caught more today and honestly a lot being over here than I normally do at my own home. There like you go. Just, to catch them is my real test. Apparently where I live to is To train them is my car. Surrounded by Rattatas and it's stupid. Yeah. There are a lot of places that I've been that are just like a barren wasteland. Anyway, uh, so po- yeah, Pokemon that games. was JonTron's video on bootleg Pokemon games and us... Uh, uh, shamelessly playing Pokemon Go. That's well, so shameless about it. Come on. Uh, yeah, it's fair. Nobody What's so ever, shameful about it, right? Nobody ever claimed we were professionals. No. Uh, anyway, 
Thank you all for watching. Uh, check the description for a link to the original video, mm -hmm. uh, as well as links to our various social media deals and our second channel, where I play entirely too much Fallout 4, Nate plays entirely too much Mass Effect, and occasionally we post neat stuff, like the tour of this place. Mm -hmm. ah. Which you will be seeing sooner rather than later. This, Probably by the time this is out, you've already seen it. This is a super comfortable available. couch. Oh my god, there's a magic harp near here. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.